Hi, today we are going to be doing an unboxing. I have two boxes just delivered via lovely UPS all the way from America, looking at the air miles, and Ezra and I are going to unpack them. And I think we've got paperbacks of Little Shop of Time Things and the hardbacks of Secrets of the Chocolate House. So let's have a look. site of the Little Shop of Found Things paperback edition. They are very nicely done. Um, I don't know about you, but the first thing I check is the size of the font. It's my middle age eyes. Oh yes, very good. Very clear, lovely font. Easy to read. Really nice. Nice and flexible. Good colours. Some very nice quotes, which I'm quite proud of. What do you think, Ezra? Yes, well, he's not my most impressed man. <laughs> Very pleased to be holding those, and they are out now just about everywhere. You should be able to get those online and in your local bookshops, and if they're not stocked, demand them. They will they will get them in for you, so lovely, lovely. Oh, there's a nice quote from People magazine on the front there. Enchanting. Enchanting. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take enchanting. So there we are. Little Shop of Found Things in paperback in a bookshop very near you, somewhere. Okay, let's have a look at those. Now underneath, I'm going to take my scissors. Now if you have a, have a box of books, don't do this. This is what they all tell you not to do. Don't stick the sharp pointy thing in and drag it along because that's how to ruin the first top layer of books. So we go in, let's see going in underneath. And I've already opened that little bit because it's a bit tricky. And so as you can see, it's scintillated. And here we have the first time ever Secrets of the Chocolate House. Look at that. Very happy about that. Ooh. Again, enchanting people on the little shop have found things. So we're definitely enchanted. Secrets of the Chocolate House. The picture at the back, I don't know how well you can see it there. That building is actually the tea shop. Uh, it's called, I think it's called the Bridge Tea Shop in Bradford on Avon, which is where, if you've read the first book, you'll know a lot of the action is around that area in Wiltshire and the um, Secrets of the Chocolate House is very much set in Bradford-on-Avon and it's a beautiful little little town and this building is still there and it is a tea shop now and I can tell you it's lovely. I've been in there and had tea and cake <laughs> all in the name of research you'll be pleased to hear um, and uh, so that, that really inspired me to set the Chocolate House there and I think they found a lovely cover for that. So Martins do a brilliant job of my covers. I'm always really pleased with them. Um, and we've got some nice quotes on the back, which I am too shy to read out to you. But anyway, this is out on the 22nd of October. Um, it'll be out in audio, hardback, large print, um, ebook, everything. <laughs> Every possible, there's no escaping the thing from the 22nd of October. And the next video I do, this is a little sneaky extra because we got the boxes of them and I wanted to share it with you. Um, I will be doing a giveaway, so watch out for those. Um, and uh, yeah, keep an eye, maybe press the little bell notification thingy underneath because um, you don't want to miss the uh, video where we do the giveaways because that'll be the next time. 